The Carries. Come on, guys, tell the truth. Hi, I'm Chip Carey, Major League Baseball announcer. And I'm Skip Carey, Major League Baseball announcer. And I'm Harry Carey, Major League Baseball announcer. Will the real Major League Broadcasting Carey please stand up? Well, how about that? Three generations of Careys received lots of media attention at Wrigley Field prior to broadcasting a game between the Braves and Cubs. Harry, Chip, and Skip. Harry's been doing play-by-play -play for 47 years, starting with the St. Louis Cardinals. That's Jack Buck on the left. Skip Carey made his Major League debut in 1965, filling in for Mel Allen. And now his son, 26-year-old Chip, is temporarily filling in for Pete Van Weeren. The youngest Carey is a chip off the old block, yet his style is very different from Pop and much different from Grandpa. I think what's unique about them both is they're both unique individuals. Um, I think my grandfather is, a, is a, a radio announcer because that's where he started. He, he is a, the, the fan's fan. Uh, he calls the game like the guys in the bleachers would call the game. There's a drive! As far as dad goes, I think dad is, is a, a, a lot more of a witty, a very dry sense of humor. The Magnificent Seven are warming up in the bullpen and will be with you as soon as Leonard hits into a 6-4-3. Six, four. Uh, and as far as me, I guess I fall in the middle somewhere. We go to the fourth with a play-by-play -play story. Here's Chip Carey. All right, Pops, thanks. Rafael Belliard leads things off. Singleton scored the first run of the game for the Braves back in the second inning. It'll be Belliard, Glavin, and then Otis Nixon against Sean Bosky, who has really been rocked so far. He's been behind hitters and has had to give in and has strained his neck watching baseballs fly past him at all kinds of angles. Well, I don't think anybody can copy anybody else's style because when the ball's hit, you don't have time to say, gee, how would Dad describe that or how would Chip describe it or Jack Buck or Ben Scully or whoever? You don't have time. You have to do it in your style. You, you really don't have time to, to think about how other people would do it. So I think style is just strictly a reflection of your own personality. There's the bunt. Runner heads for third. He doesn't even look there. Goes to first. He might have had a play at third base. But Bosky, he gets a sacrifice out of it, thrown out by Bosky. Let's see if Bosky slipped when he made this play. He got off the mound in pretty good shape, and again, Gary Scott was charging toward the plate. It's a, such a thrill for me, the realization that here we are, three different generations, all doing Major League Baseball at the very same time. It's almost mathematically impossible. 